Now let's explore the whole issue of demonic strongholds. First, let's define them. A stronghold is a demonic fortress of thoughts housing evil spirits that 1. Control, dictate, and influence your attitudes and behaviors. 2. Oppress and discourage you. 3. Filter and color how you view or react to situations, circumstances, or people. When you entertain thoughts and participate in activities that are contrary to the will of God, you open yourself up to demonic inhabitation in those areas. You're choosing to appease your flesh nature rather than walk in obedient trust. When those thoughts and actions become habitual and we stress habitual, you allow a spiritual fortification to be built around that demonic spirit and its influence in your soul. You become accustomed to responding to the influence and control of the spirit's voice. In fact, you believe it's the voice of your own mind because it sounds just like you. That's where the deception comes in. Keep in mind that demons monitor your activities and set up circumstances to tempt you. They agitate your thoughts and emotions until you're too confused to resist and pray. Instead of turning away from those thoughts because they're nothing that Jesus would think, you give way to the inner struggle between good and evil that Paul refers to in his letter to the Romans. If you are a follower of Jesus, you no longer have to be a slave to your sin nature because you have the power of the Holy Spirit to resist. Remember from our last segment, whenever you give way to temptation, your mind, will, and emotions respond like a magnet to evil. Day in and day out, you're brought to a decision point when you're tempted. Will you listen to the Holy Spirit and follow God's will for you? Or are you going to let yourself be drawn towards disobedience by your sin nature to follow Satan's will? At any point during temptation, you can resist and turn away from those thoughts or actions. You have the power of the Holy Spirit to resist the devil and turn toward Jesus and his ways. But giving in to sin leads to habitual disobedience. And that's when you give Satan a foothold for his demon servant to control you in that particular area of your life. We want to emphasize again, demonic spirits are relationship destroyers. They cause you to misperceive situations in order to damage your relationships with others. Through demonic agitation, you develop wrong conclusions about other people's actions towards you. You project evil motives onto them and convince yourself that you're a victim. Obviously, not all your internal struggles are demonically induced. Many of your beliefs and attitudes that oppose God and His ways were learned through your environment your family circumstances, your home life, your relational experiences, even your educational influences play a big part in whether you'll cling to Jesus or yield to Satan. Many people today acquire their knowledge from secular sources that attack biblical truth. Those lies lodge doubt and unbelief into your spiritual perspective. All your thoughts can be traced back to beliefs that are based either on the truth of Scripture or on Satan's lies. When you habitually misinterpret God's purposes for what you're going through, or keep misreading the motives or intent of people around you, you're preparing a dwelling place for demonic activity in your mind, will, and emotions. That's true. A demonic stronghold is anything that's compelling enough to hold you in its power. It prevents you from receiving God's love and truth. The demonic spirit that lives in a stronghold that's been erected in your soul arouses a defensiveness in you. You tend to rationalize thoughts and actions that are in opposition to God's Word. 
How can you recognize if there's a stronghold in you? It will be that area of your life in which you consistently have problems and can't live in victory. You can tell a spiritual stronghold is established because a habitual pattern of failure or hopelessness exists. This habitual hopelessness or inability to change isn't a one-time event or response like slamming the door because you tripped over the dog. Instead, a stronghold steers you toward a consistent, ungodly thought pattern or action that seems just a part of who you are. Your worldview, which is your personal perspective of reality, colors all your decision making. You've developed your own way of seeing things over a long period of time, long before you became a Christian. Through your sin nature, many of your innate responses to people and situations are rooted in the character of Satan, the father of lies. Satan's demonic servants stir up wrong emotional responses to the circumstances you face. The circumstance itself doesn't cause the emotion, but what you believe about the circumstance does. For instance, you may have believed a demonically induced lie that your older brother always treated you cruelly while you were growing up. The truth is, though, you were a rebellious child. When your parents put your brother in charge when they were away, you caused a lot of trouble. Your brother's reports brought parental discipline on you, yet you blamed your brother for your defiance. The spirit hiding in that stronghold seized the opportunity to turn your anger into a lie of cruel abuse, which you believed. Now, whenever you think about your brother, anger and bitterness flame up in you over a twisted so-called reality that never happened. Let me repeat this. A chief demonic goal is to destroy your intimate relationships your relationship with our Father and His Son Jesus, and with those in your household, and with those whom you share close fellowship, are targets for demonic disruption and destruction. Why? Because emotionally isolated people are easier for demonic spirits to influence, control, and oppress than people who have loving, supportive relationships. Mm -hmm.